Okay. Come on. Come on. Do I need a five my little window here? Okay. All right. Uh, this probably dropped out of the setting for getting the audio right. So let me. Which means you didn't hear it when uh, when I hit the BRB screen to pee. Okay. Oh, and my microphone. Okay, are things really quiet? Or is it just the way I have audio patched through right now? Balance seemed fine. Let's play some of this. So this might hold on. The cat may be doing something. You shouldn't. Kitty. Kitty. how beautiful this game is. If you do want to play this game, um, the 3DS version of it is great. It actually has like 3D scrolling backgrounds and the, they did the music right. As in, of all of the Genesis emulators I have seen, this is the only one to get the sound reasonably close. Ninja power. I'm just gonna walk on over this way. I'm ninja in. I'm a ninja. I think I've played Hagana Ant stream, or I recommended it to somebody. Oh yeah, I recommended it to Milby like ages ago. Oh 
Oh man, easy mode's so easy. I don't think I've ever played on easy mode. Oh yeah, look at this scrolling water down here. Look at that, look at that, look at all that parallax. What I really want to do is get a Genesis Flash card and play uh, Monster World 4 on, uh, you know, real live Genesis. I mean, I've already bought it twice. Oh, yeah. Look at how you can actually see the stippling on the, uh, the water because of how epic my capture setup is. Uh, how, how's the Genesis games on Steam? They're fine. Um, I feel that they're a bit input laggy and the music is not very good. But, you know, it's the legal way to get the games. They don't have Monster World 4 on there. Which I think is a shame. But... I think that one's a heart. It's a boss. Oh god, I forget how is so laggy, it angers me greatly. Yeah, that's why I prefer to play on my Super Game Boy, unless I have to. Uh, there is a, if you are willing to, I think you need some sort of old SD card loader for the GameCube. And maybe some kind of mod chip. Someone has released a um, version of the Game Boy Player software that has less input lag. I'm doing this the very slow, supposedly safe way, but I kind of suck at the game, so. Round four is the one that has the uh, rocket sleds. This is a similar setup, only with my horse! Thank you. 
It's about to get stormy. God, they switched to guns. Guns and boomerangs. And I'm gonna get hit by everyone. Elevator. I almost died there. Let's see, Nintendo can't even figure out how to put GBA games on the 3DS. I think they made the GBA lost all the notes. <laughs> now it works as a mystery to them. That isn't really true, but... My controls are backwards! Ah, forgot about that.
Suck it. Okay, night cam. Krang, what are you doing in a ninja game? Well, you know, some versions of the first one. Do have, like Spider-Man and Batman and shit in them. Some with the cool water. No, this is the this is something entirely different. Do you feel like a ninja right now with all this stuff going on? That's what ninjas have to fight these days. Bad time dealing with those guys. Be a brain, they could be intestines. Or I'm just a derp.
god, I'm getting ghibli right now. Oh, it's clearly not Mother Brain. Uh. It's clearly the, uh, the, like, giant soldier thing from Nausicaa. Complete with the laser beam. I'm gonna die. I died. Let me figure out how to deal with that. wasn't so sticky. But sometimes I can do my double jump, sometimes I can't. All my lives right here. Damn it. I got hit by that thing twice. Come on, do the fucking double jump. Why do you not do the double jump when I need you to do the double jump? Come on, do it, do it, do it. Ugh. 
come on. Come on. What am I not doing right? Jump. Why can I do it sometimes but not others? See, there you did it. not doing your jumps. I can't figure out why this isn't double jumping. There you did it. This guy, we're going to... Okay. There I was able to do it. I couldn't do it there. I need to do my double jump to avoid the shit. And it works just fine right there. And I'm stuck inside your body. There's something I'm not getting. Like, sometimes I can double jump, sometimes I can't using the same buttons. And I really hate this floor. jump see that's what I want to see every fucking time and then it just bugs out okay and I still fucking get hit Fucking ducking. Fucking <sighs> I'm just gonna waste it because he's gonna go down. Still get hit. I'm not getting something here. Okay. 
No, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on! Why do you not fucking double jump when I fucking push the fucking same button as I did fucking last time? Come on. There, I'm, I'm getting slightly better at doing them, but I'm still getting hurt. Because what I need to do is... Well, what I want to do is something that it doesn't seem... Uh, yeah. Thank you, game. And this is also one of the things where I had the best chance when I first got here, and now that I didn't do it, it's not going to happen. Like, I don't want to do the spin. I don't want to do the spin jump. I want to... Uh, that, that wastes way too many things. Design this boss should die if they're not already fucking dead. Cause just I I you, and you get stuck in the fucking floor. And I'm not even doing anywhere well, as well as I did the second. I'm pressing the fucking jump button, you piece of shit. And these aren't doing anything. Come on. No, I don't want to... hand. I can't even get normal height out of my jumps. Okay. Now why the fuck did I get hit there? Jump. Wait for the fucking stupid hand. Jump immediately after, but don't register it for some goddamn reason. down and I still get hurt unlike the previous 12 times I've done that. <sighs> it's possible, but the, the floor is so fucking sticky. I have no idea what the fucking just changed there. <sighs> that pisses me off. It's not a yes. I don't even know what I did. Anyway, things just got a little better. Because we're riding a fucking rocket sled. Oh, 
are you doing here? I got what I needed out of that. not for that segment of it anyway. Sometimes that happens. And in the Battletoads, it was the sewers that that happened in. Right? It was underground. Let's try and keep my power as long as I can. Just that long. Ninjas dropping out of everywhere. To my kid. I haven't seen you in ages. Thought maybe you were dead. Well, I didn't think that, but.
Nope. That was a bad idea. As soon as I did that, I'm like, that's a horrible idea. Yeah, I've been streaming at more random times lately. That was a bomb, if I remember right. At least I got the, uh, the cool stage with the rocket sled. Really self. Yourself. Just don't be a dip. Don't be a derp. Don't be whatever the fuck keeps causing you to do that when you don't have any lives left. that way. Should have played Shining Force too. know. It's an info. That will be extremely useful in my zero lives. Later, Factor of Unknowns. Thank you. Alright, let's go fight a boss.
<sighs> time is it? Oh, it's not even halfway late. Okay, I think there's six rounds. Oh yeah. It's hot. I kicked his machine gun in half. Oh yeah. Boss, or mortar dude, mortar bro. That's what I wanted to say. Shot by lasers. Uh -oh. Let me right at the dude.
Had him last time. My guess is you need to race that. That's gotta be a life and an info. For that kind of secret. I just yeah, okay. No, there's nothing there to hold that. I just need to dash. <laughs> it's like, is that is that our ninja guy there? I don't know. I'll just not fire. Let's see if somehow it works out in the end for me.
I was really hoping that would take him with him. Such a fucking mistake. I tried to say in a kit. Now I've lost my two ninpos and whatever else I had. Fucker. I didn't even need to do that because I just needed to shoot it because it was one of those things. Oh god. This is it. I'm fucked up. So what game should be next?
I don't have my trap. Plus, it's dumb. Not even like the entertaining kind of dumb. mother I your mother is not conventionally smart come on self fight a boss. Your mother is well designed and embodies the 80s. <laughs> both the heart and the power. Gajira, Gojira, 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 Gojira,
Gojira. Mecha Grade Reverse Boss Order. Okay, so the fire, I need to do something with that. I need to do that about it. Oh! Oh shit. Oh. It's the game that never fucking ends. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the last stage. Or maybe, maybe there's more. No, this is the Genesis version. I don't know what's happening right now. Make a Ridley next. Uh I don't know if this is one that had the, the proper PAL fixes. It could be. It's kind of a crapshoot whether or not that actually happens. didn't have three goddamn continues. See, if I had continued at the Mecha Godzilla, I would have just given up because that would take me to the beginning of that stage, but I'm already at the beginning of the stage. Oh my god, nine more lives. Zero points, but oh well. I actually don't think I've ever made it this far in this game. It doesn't feel familiar. Uh, 
<laughs> I already got the high score. But also my hand is starting to hurt. I should have switched to a three button controller because it's right where the mode button is. Yeah, these jumps are rough. I mean, what the hell is this anyway? Like, what, what, what kind of chasm is this? Where not only is gravity not at its proper rate, but... Okay. I was getting near the end too. You can tell because you can start to see the ground. My butts hurts. Longer than it is wide? Yes, it does. It's like they've drained the Marianas Trench and I'm falling for miles. It didn't do the double jump. Yeah, this this game is great music. Mm. 
And apparently I'm just gonna die over and over again. Well, plus I have I have the proper genesis for the, the good sound. Well, there's some debate about what the best would be for this, but I have the proper one. Well, because they're all ninjas, they just have standard ninja gear. So this is just like the standard ninja crates. so much better at Genji now in, in Overwatch. Oh, shit. Well, okay. There's there's multiple motherboard revisions. Uh, so not just do I have um, a Model 1. Uh, I have one of the motherboard revisions that has the well, the, the better sound. And, and again, better is a little weird because it's it, it, the, the like the model two, not the oh shit I got knocked off. You're the version where the Sega CD would attach to the bottom like a DVD player. Well, I mean, I have I have I have the model two Sega CD. The model one Sega CD. Um, is less wide, but is a bit taller. Not much taller, actually. It's only maybe an extra, well, a little bit taller. Whereas the Model 2 is a top-loading mechanism, and that's the one I have. Yeah, uh, of, of the Model 1, there's, uh, I think, six or seven motherboard revisions, and you generally want to have a three or less. Or maybe it's a four or less. And I have a three. And you have to look this. It, it actually is listed on there where it says like VA3 or... Oh shit. I'm doing worse now. Uh, I'm getting like a... Why, what, what part of the controller is hitting that? Eh. I'm nearly done with this game. I'm just... By done, I mean... I feel like I've extracted as much as I wanted out of this. Oh, what the fuck? Huh. Let's stick around for a while. Best version is when a man in a ninja costume plays a pan flute in my living room. I see. Yeah, I think the European version may lack blood. And the Japanese title screen is the Super Shinobi 2, not Shinobi 3. Because uh, Shadow Dancer came to the US at least as um, Shinobi 2. And they are technically in the same series. In Shadow Dancer, you get a wolf! Let you be more like Hanzo. I am doing awful. Your Genesis had the red background below the logo, not white. Um. Well, yeah, mine has the. It's got the Sega Genesis logo, which is in white. It says 16 bit. It says high definition graphics on the rim, and then where the power light is, there's sort of a reddish color there. I would say it's more of like a purplish, but. The A3. It looks identical to the launch US edition. In fact, this is this is one that came with Altered Beast as a pack-in. That's how that's how old it is. It was before the Sonic pack-in. I am just failing. All right, all right. I'm ready to switch. Let's see if I can get some non-crashy Sega CD styling. Okay. There's no disc in their game, their system. While I pee again.
I have a. F I kind of want to make a new stream intro, parodying this. Like just to, to, to start it out, because I really don't have an intro. I just have a beginning setup screen. I want an actual like intro, maybe. Some stupid low color pixelated planet and some swirly shit with color cycling all over it. I know, I gotta be. I do that because it needs to be both me themed okay and it should, needs to be widescreen because that's how things work now it needs to be ridiculous what do I have in here that takes too long If this crashes, or if the if the video doesn't come back, I mean, you know, you'll still be able to hear me. If it doesn't come back, I'm gonna switch to my PC. I think if Sega, would we have a? Do you think if Sega City took over, would we have a Sony PlayStation? Um, Sony really wanted to get into that market, and they did. Um, I'm not sure if you saw the uh, Nintendo PlayStation. Uh, semi-working prototype that was found. Uh, it shows the kind... Well, what I think is great is that it shows that they were actually thinking a little better about how to do it, because the Sega CD is weird in that they realized it was going to cost a lot, so they tried to put on stuff that sucked. Like, stuff that, that, that was untried. Like, the scaling stuff and the fact that it actually has a processor that's twice as fast as the one in the Genesis and spends most of its time not doing much. Uh, it's... The system could have been cheaper. Uh, the the Sony Nintendo product was actually an SNES with access to CD-ROM storage. It was quote unquote dumb, um, which is good because that means uh, it could be cheap. Which means if if it had come out and it was well received that it would have been probably at least $50, if not $100 cheaper than the Sega CD. Well, then they would have to cut their price. But also, uh, 
it would have been cheap for a while. As in, by the time it finally was pulled off the market in like 97 or 98, it would have been, uh, you know, a hundred bucks. Which I think is, is the better way to go. And that's basically what the PlayStation is. It's, it's a CD plus a relatively simple processor, like cheap to acquire, but it's reasonably fast. And a their 3D stuff is weird, but interesting, but also simple. But it worked out well for them. All right, let's see about this. You gonna show up? Okay. What is my favorite console? I would have to say the original Game Boy. I feel that the original Game Boy is the answer to that question. Oh, I need to update my Twatch. That's one of the main. This what you're hearing right now in the background is one of the main differences between the um, uh, early models and later models of Genesis is that the there's weird harmonics that get generated when certain sounds are done. So it creates what's it has this ladder effect on certain notes, especially deep notes, and you can sort of hear it going like on the bass notes, and it's an interesting sound, which is like considered the Genesis sound. And the reason that happens is. Um, the, uh, I do actually have, if you want a Mickey Mouse game, I do have both Mickey Mania and, I think, uh, got a couple of Mickey games. Castle of Illusion, or, I have Castle of Illusion but not World of Illusion, and I have, I have Mickey Mouse Capade. Anyway. On the NES, but anyway. Uh, you. Your pixels look funny. Like they're half sliced. Is that just on my scanning now? Eh, it's not too bad, whatever it is. Anyway, I was talking about something. Oh yeah, the sound. Um, so the YM2612, which is what the original model Genesis uses, uh, is a cost reverse version of the... Um, I forget exactly which one. It's like the, the YM2610 or 2608. What it lost was... Uh, well... It lost PCM sound, like normal PCM sound, uh, like quality, uh, buffered, you know, easy PCM sound. The Genesis can do PCM sound, but it has to basically have the CPU drive it. Um, and the, it uses a cheaper DAC, which is the part that takes the digital bits that are coming in and turns them into analog audio. Now, uh, on the original implementation, the 2608, that or whatever it was that this was derived from, uh, the DAC is additive, so all the bits are added together seamlessly, um, and the sounds are just combined. Uh, what the cost-reduced version does is it doesn't actually add the sounds together, it switches at its frequency rate, which I think is like 7 megahertz, uh, so 7, um, 7 million times a second, uh, between each of the nine channels that are present. I think it's nine channels to create this, but this causes these little weird harmonics to show up between there, because A, um, there's a little bit of distortion when you actually switch, because the switching isn't entirely smooth, um, and uh, you are switching, which is going to cause those anyway. I have Quackshot. Did I say I have Quackshot? I have Quackshot. I have Quackshot complete in box. Hair flip. I really don't care about that that much. 
Alright, Slade. Gonna try and steal some shit and shit goes wrong. So yeah, that is the main weirdness of the 2612. Uh, actually, also, the 2608 has uh, PSG channels. Uh, uh, not identical to the one the Genesis has, but very similar. They're just, uh, I think it's three voice plus noise. Uh, however, the Genesis has, in, it's actually implemented in the VDP, the Sega Master System sound channels, which are a different uh, three voice no, plus noise channel uh, sound setup, which is nearly identical in terms of how it functions, so it's not, it's not a big difference there, but um, if you do want to produce noise without uh, harmonics, I'm just going to hit start. Oh shit. I might need to put new batteries in this guy. I could skip the intro time. I think it, it, it plays through the intro. Oh wait, no. I, I had started this before. I had apparently started this before. Because it wouldn't be named Bootkin otherwise. scaling on the monitor that's beginning of the game. And I probably won't play this too seriously until I replace the battery in it based on the fact that it said Adventure 1 has disappeared. I mean, the batteries in these things are 20 plus years old, so... Am I gonna get yogurt? No, no, I don't, this is definitely not gonna be a complete run of the game. Um, because... I need to pop a CR2032 in this bad boy. The K 
king. The king is ill. No. Run. Yeah. I did update the game title. I was wondering why all the blue people were slow and not hedgehogs. And why he was a ninja for a while there. I'm so glad with how good I can capture Genesis footage now that I've upgraded some things. I mean, you can see all the individual pixels, man. They're right there. to hear my commentary on Microsoft's video regarding Project Scorpio. Um, I only, I didn't watch their announcement, but I did read some stuff about it. We, 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 it's like a Trump thing. It's like, we've got the best pixels! Got all the pixels, I got no problems in that department. We're gonna do them great. Got the best, our pixels are great. We're gonna build a wall with pixels. <laughs> and we're gonna make Sony pay for it. It's probably more than six gigaflops. That would be... That would be an exceptionally old machine. I mean, what I'm working on now is not six gigaflops. This is well below that. But, uh... <laughs> I mean, we were hitting gigaflops... What was the first consumer gigaflop computer era type stuff? Gigaflop. Yeah, a modern Core i7 is pushing something like, depending on what you're doing, with FMA3, it looks like 384 gigaflops. So. It probably does have a G GX. To oh, no, actually, wait, it doesn't because. See if they have anything in the common usage. Come on, show some.
flops. Okay, so six gigaflops would be like three Dreamcasts taped together. So you're probably talking like Pentium 4, early, early Pentium 4 era stuff, late Pentium 3 maybe, for that in a single processor. So nearly 15 years ago, or 15 years ago. built this tower? I don't know. Um, actually, what I think the Scorpio has is it probably has um, AMD's next thing because it's not supposed to come out. It's because Scorpio is supposed to come out later, right? It's supposed to be sometime in 26, 2017, probably like mid or late, which is really weird to announce it so early because because it's like a one and a half upgrade kind of thing. It's well, it's confusing. However. I do think, since it looks like Sony is also kind of planning the same thing, and Nintendo's sort of been on this track for a while, where your console, historically, your console generations are usually very different from uh, your previous ones. 360 has nothing architecturally in common with the original Xbox, PS3, um, PS4, PS3, all, all of the Playstations have essentially... Oh, okay, almost nothing in common. Um, architecturally. It looks like we're starting to see what Intel used to refer to as TikTok in, ter in terms of their, their incrementing in processors, but we may start seeing it inside of console generations that are now longer. Instead of being five to seven-ish years, they're going to be about ten, like the last one was. Um, and instead of seeing just revisions of the core hardware, you're going to see revisions and improvements. Nintendo's been doing this with uh, the Game Boy to the Game Boy uh, SP. That was basically just a form factor change, but it was a very big one. Um, the DS had the DSi, which was a, you know, there were games that could run on DSi only. Uh, 3DS has this as well. Um, all right, let's kill these little squidgy things. Well, I think the the revised Xbox One is going to be the the Xbox One, uh, the smaller one, because that's just what the cost reductions have have yielded. I mean, I don't think it's necessarily a bad idea to enter a, a, a sort of TikTok phase with um, gaming hardware. Uh, because it allows the developers to sort of uh, adapt more, meaning that they get they get 10 years of experience on a console instead of five. Uh, which can be important. I do think if they do that, the the current cost structure is probably a bit much. If you're someone who wants to, to stick on the thing appropriately. Oh, he doesn't have a, a lance yet. He just looks like he does. You don't have any Bernie magic yet. How many games, how many gamers are going to be upgrading their consoles that soon? Uh, I think it's more likely to appeal to A, people who didn't buy the Xbox One and PS4 yet. Um,
Oh god. Um, yeah, uh, uh, blah. I'm kind of losing track because I'm focusing on my game. Oh god, no, not the priest. Mercy, no. Oh, hi, kitty. their cycles being so short. Uh, when did the Xbox One launch? It was 2014, right? Like holiday 2014? So, if it launches holiday 2017, then that's that's still three years, which is longer than the gap between the DS and the DSi, and basically as long as the Game Boy Advance was alive. Because the Game Boy Advance came out in 2001, and the DS came out in 2004. I mean, there were still Game Boy Advance games. Oh, 2013? So it's, yeah, nearly four years. Oh shit, I just lost the game. I get for not paying attention. Yeah, uh, the, the DSi was 20% more. We don't know the price of the um, new one. And yeah, they're, they're trying to make a big push into VR, and I'm obviously not gonna do well in this game right now. Alright, let's see what we get. My body's kind of spazzed out. Uh, what do we have? I failed at flashback. I think it's really well flashback. I shouldn't have just... Yeah, um... I should have started in easy mode. And I really hate that they called it the Xbox One, because... What do you call the original Xbox? The original Xbox, which is very awkward to say. Xbone point five. Let's watch this break. Ah, oh, this is gonna be even worse. Come on. Ugh. Xbox Classic. Well, they called the, uh, on the 360, the emulated versions, they called them Xbox Originals. I suspect they're going to give it a different code name, like Xbox One 4K, or Xboner <laughs> Revised. I think it's going to be called, like, the Xbox One 4K. Or maybe just the Xbox 4K. Come on. You're totally plugged in. Uh, it's not that... If you're buying a new TV today, you're probably going to get a 4K TV. That's not too big of a, of a problem. I just think that it may not have the power to run 4K uh, stuff, which some people have commented on as well, where they're like, I mean, might be able to run an Xbox 360 HD version game in, in that, but, you know, something that is lower spec. And why the hell are you not working? I'm just going to listen. Actually, try going to listen. What game I'm going to listen to? Yeah, let's listen to this one. I have two copies of that game. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is one of the spotty cartridges. That's why I have two copies. And I can never remember which one is the right one. Okay. They did the thing, so... I'm gonna switch over to my PC. Which means I need to push buttons. I'm gonna just start filling in these guys here. So I can clear up some fucking space. And I actually do have foobar on here. I don't know if I have any actual music on it though. I do. At least it looks like I do. That'll start coming through. I hope. Hmm. And that is not playing. Yeah, I suspect that the 4K Xbox, if it were to launch today, would be would be 600 bucks, if not 700 bucks. So, it's clear that. Hold on, I'm listening to my own stream here. So it's possible that uh, there could be some issues there. The, I, I think HoloLens is the better setup because it doesn't require space. Well, I mean, it does require space. What I mean is that it doesn't require... Uh, you, can, you, you can be moving. Theoretically, it should be able to be reducible into something that just looks kind of like a normal pair of glasses, so you don't look like an idiot. And uh, a lot of the update rate problems, which, means, which is some of the reasons why you have so much performance behind it... Um, kind of go away when you have actual background against it because you're, it just looks like the object is wobbly instead of uh, yeah. I have used a hollow lens um, it was fine for what it was though it was it was a tech demo not a game related tech demo it was a technology tech demo actually a like construction related stuff uh, let me turn off my that's like that um but yeah, the 4K, uh, if they released any specs on it, I will Google those right now. Xbox Scorpio. Can't spell. The one thing about Scorpio is it does make up for the problem that Microsoft had is that they built a console that is definitively slightly slower than the PlayStation 4, than their competition, their primary competition. And that is, that's a huge problem. And they could have built something that was the same or uh, slightly better, but because they really wanted to put in the um, Kinect and all these other little weird things that people don't really use, um, they lost out on that. So this sort of fixes that mistake where they can say, well, we have the fastest yet again. Like they were able to do reasonably well with the 360. You can have a lot of argument over that, but it actually is an argument. It's not, you have the exact same thing, only clock slower. Sorry, you're not faster. And yeah, I mean, I really do want to play a rare replay and hope it comes to PC. It won't, but I hope it does. Huh. 
there's a fire wire input. I did not know that. Yep, gears and halo, halo and gears. Uh. So honestly, sales-wise, none of the systems of this generation have really done that well. Um, the Wii U, uh, in particular, um, the Dreamcast is considered a flop and a failure. I don't. I mean, I loved, I love it so much. So many great games that I love, but at the time, the Wii U was as old as the Dreamcast was when it was discontinued. The Dreamcast had more unit sales in a smaller market. With you know, and you know, because there's more people and more, and you know, it's sold in more, fewer places. So basically, the Wii U has done worse than the Dreamcast, something that was considered company-ending. The 3DS is fine. Um, I don't think it sold as well as the DS in aggregate, but it still has a chance to keep keep, keep up. And we have no idea how long the 3DS line is going to continue on the, the the current new 3DS stuff. I mean, we'll be seeing games for a while. The 3DS is fine. I think it had a reasonably fast start and then slow down significantly uh, and then it's boosted up again with a couple of games that were very well regarded uh, anyway I am going to be back in like 15 minutes I'm going to eat I'm gonna switch to my main PC and I'm gonna clear off my fucking desk and I'm not sure what I'm going to play I, I should I should decide that now and then change my mind while I'm eating. I could play Overwatch, because Overwatch, but... Uh, what else do I have on my list? Because I haven't played a lot of Overwatch. Some people don't like it. My God, Galaxy needs an update! Oh, I haven't, I haven't checked in today! I need to get my free game that I already have. GOG has a large sale on it. Uh, I don't want to play the new Doom demo until I play the new Doom. Which I will wait some time for. Where is the... My, my experience progress? I didn't check it yesterday, did I? No. Oh well. Uh, no, I can't get for free yet again. Ah. Uh. Oh, I have to... I have to re-log in. Email. And I have a code. Alright, I'll be back in a bit. Uh, I may actually just start the stream up almost immediately and then just have it say that I'll be back in 15 minutes. Alright, uh, uh, which keyboard do I... Uh, here we go. See you in a bit.